Welcome again to the Sunday Guerrilla Men's Bible Study. I'm Brother Thomas Lee Harris III, and we have reached the fifth chapter in the book of Mark in our series we're calling Written in Red. And chapter 5, verse 1. And they came over onto the other side into the country of Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately they met out of they were met out of the tombs a man with a certain spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains. Verse 4, because he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken into pieces, neither could any man tame him. Verse 5, and always night and day, he was in the mountain and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. But when Jesus saw, but when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Verse 7. And he cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. For he said it unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he, said, and he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was a certain, now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. Verse 12. And all the devils besought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. Then forthwith Jesus gave them leave. And unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine. And the herd ran violently down a deep, a steep place into the sea. There were about 2,000. And they were choked into the sea. Verse 14. And they fed the swine, and they that fed the swine fled and told it to the city and in the country. And they were out to see what it was that was done. And they came into to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting in clothes and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Verse 16, And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil, and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Verse 19, Howbeit Jesus suffered him, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends, and tell them how great things the Lord hath done to thee, and hath commanded, and hath had compassion on thee. And he departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done to him, and men did marvel. And when Jesus was passed over again by the ship onto the other side, because people gathered unto him, he was nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him. And much people followed him and thronged him. And a certain which woman, this is verse 25, and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years had suffered many things of phys many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus came in and pressed behind him and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. Verse 29. And straightway 
the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? Verse 31. And his disciples said to him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and saith thou, Who touched me? And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. Verse 34. And he said to her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. While he spake, verse 35, while he, while he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's how certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou thy master at any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Verse 37. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. Verse 38. And he cometh into the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and seeth the tumult, and them that wept and wailed greatly. Verse 39. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why maketh this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but asleep. And they laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he taketh the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him and entered into where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talit kumi, Talitha kumi, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Verse 42, And straightway the damsel arose and walked, for she was of the age of twelve years. And they were astonished with great astonishment. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it. And commanded that something should be given her to eat. Amen. And that concludes the fifth chapter of the book of Mark. And we see here that once again, Jesus is met with a man with a legion of demons. He heals the man. Right? We hear the story about how the, the legion of demons goes out into the swine and the swine run into the sea. But the, the, the people who were keeping it, the swine or feeding, you know, were upset and went and got the other people from the town, you know, and they, they were kind of bothered. So, they, you know, they asked Jesus to leave. Jesus left. But he told the man to stay that you may be a testimony of what God can do. And then we see... Um, Jesus meets a man, Jairus, about his daughter who was sick, you know, and he wanted him to come and heal his daughter. But on the way to healing his daughter, there was another woman who had an issue of blood, who in her faith, Jesus says, your faith has made you whole. And she realized that if she made contact with the master, she could get a blessing. And, and Jesus felt the virtue of the, the blessing come out of him. And acknowledge the woman. And then, in that process of time, people from Jerry's house came and told him, don't trouble Jesus anymore because the girl is dead. Jesus said one of my first favorite, favorite verses, do not be afraid, only believe. Right? He moved all those doubters out of the way and went and did what the man came and intended him to do, heal the daughter. And that concludes the fifth chapter of the book of Mark. Amen?